Hello class, it's Dr. Adams. I am here to walk you through the basics of Adobe Premiere editing so that you can reference this video outside of class if you're stuck or if you're working from home or in the lab by yourself. So um, I'm gonna go over in this video just the very basics of editing on Premiere. Um, and I'm just, before we start anything, I just wanna throw out a quick reminder of saving your files. So save your files in a folder, have them organized in a folder um, somewhere on your desktop. That way Adobe Premiere will be able to read the files um, when you save and go back in to edit. Also, I strongly suggest that you back everything up to a flash drive and save it as you're working. That way your project is saved in at least two places in case anything happens. So to get started, I'm just gonna explain the interface to you all. Uh, so this space right here, this is your source clip. So this is the clip, the video clip that I'm actually editing. Um, over here, down here, this is your timeline. So uh, your sequence timeline. So this is where all the editing magic happens. And you can see you have lots of options in Premiere about how to edit. Uh, this over here, this is where you'll see your edited video, so the pieces that you've edi edited together on the timeline. And then this area over here, you can see I, I've imported some video already. Um, this is where I have my video imported. It's in my bin that I want to work on, that I want to edit. So this is all the raw footage as I shot it organized into those clips. So once you have your video saved on your desktop, you've opened Premiere, um, you're going to need to import, just like we had to import files into Adobe Audition, you're going to need to import them into Premiere. So to do that, you'll go to File. You'll select Import. So it's going to automatically take me to the file I was working in. You may have to find the file. I'm going to import a song because that's not in here yet. I chose a song. I'm going to edit this clip to a song. I'm going to open that up. Okay, so there it is. Now, because my story is going to be audio driven, I'm gonna edit these clips around this song. Um, I'm gonna first drag my audio, first edit from my audio. So to do that, to put my audio on my timeline so that I can then edit it, I'm going to just drag it. And I'm gonna actually put it on audio channel two because uh, this is a video of my daughter that I shot this past weekend of her, you know, playing outside in the leaves. So I really want some of that sound. I want her laugh. I want the rake moving. So I want to keep some of that sound in with the song. Okay. And I'll, I will adjust those later. But for now, I, I, so I'm going to keep this song on my second audio channel so I can have those other sounds of like the leaves raking and stuff on my first audio channel. And that'll make sense as we go through here. So Again, most of your stories are going to be audio driven. So if you've recorded your script, uh, written your script, and then recorded your voice narrative, you're likely going to want to start with the editing of your voice or a song um, and then put the video on. It's just a way to be more time efficient. However, you might have a story that is more visually driven. Um, it's, it all goes back to story. So if your story is driven by the visual, you might want to edit that visual first and then edit your audio. So just depending on your story, um, you have to think about it and then decide how you want to edit. But most stories are, are audio driven. So I would start there. Okay. So um, once you've imported all your clips, um, you're going to want to start. I've, I've got my song in here. Um, I'm gonna to wanna to start editing my footage. So you can see here to do that, I'm gonna double click again just so you guys can see it. I'm gonna start with this one. So I'll just double click it. You can see that clip showed up here. It was, I was already kind of working on it, but if you double click it, so you can see there's my other clip. This is all the raw footage. So I'm gonna scrub it. You can do that by grabbing this cursor and scrub back and forth up here in your source clip. Again, the clip you're editing from. Okay, so I'm going to pick a shot, um, and I, I'd like an establishing shot to be my first shot. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one of these. So, okay, this is where I want my clip to start. So to do that, I'm going to mark an in on my computer, which is I, and then I'm going to press the space bar to play it back. Um, that seems long enough, so I'll, I want it to end there. So I'll hit the space bar again, that'll stop it from playing, and I'm going to mark my out, which is an, the O on your keyboard, okay? So now I have this nice clip edited from this larger clip, and I'm just going to drag that down 
to my timeline. So you can see here, I still have this second, this first audio channel, which matches my clip, which is, you'll hear here, I'll play it back for you, um, with the song. You can still hear that rake. Okay, so I'm going to edit, I'd like to edit another video clip on there. Let's do that again. I think this one will work. That's cute. Okay, so I'll mark it in, start it there, kind of scrub it along here, and it gets a little shaky, so I'll mark my out there, take that clip, just again, drag it right back down, okay? So I've got two clips on here. Sick of time, I'll play them back for you. Okay, so that's the basics of editing on your timeline. Um, if you want to, you know, move stuff around, um, if you want to, if I want to hone in on maybe like a specific sound or video, I can zoom in on my timeline by dragging this uh, scroll bar at the bottom, or I can zoom back out. Okay, make everything a little smaller. So um, from here, just for the sake of time, I am going to just edit with these two clips. I'll show you how to do that. So I don't need all of this extra sound. So I am just going to drag it to where I want it, snap on there, and now I'm going to kind of hone in a little bit on these clips. You can see that's not quite where that video ends, so I'll line it up just by kind of highlighting over it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, how to add some effects to your video. So you can do that by clicking this effects tab over here, and it's beyond the scope of our presentation today or this video tutorial today, um, how to use a bunch of the different video effects. I'm just going to show you briefly. There are so many, and then there are, you know, subsets of those. So you can see here, color correction is a science in itself. Um, we will talk about this stuff in class if you need to color correct your video or you want to use any of these video effects, depending on what you want to do in your story. Um, I can help you. Uh, in class with some of those. But what I wanted to show you today, what some of you might be using are the video transitions. Uh, you can see there are different, different types of video transition. I most often use the dissolve. Um, and so cross dissolve is a pretty common video transition to use. And again, if you're ever thinking of using a, any type of video transition or effect, always needs to be intentional and relate to your story. You'll need to account for that in your reflection. But so all you do is choose it, drag it. You can see there it is. There's my effect. Um, another effect that I like to use at the end of my videos is a nice dip to black. I think it just gives things a professional feel. So you can see there I've got that. Um, so let's, you can see those, show you those effects in here. Set dissolve, that's what that looks like. There's that dip to black. And then um, if you want to make your dissolves or your transitions longer or shorter, just hover over them. You'll get this nice um, highlight thing. You can pull it, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, whatever you wanna do. So, um, you notice I shortened the music up, right? Kinda of sounds really funny to just end. <laughs> so, I wanna add an audio transition. So, you all will be a little bit more familiar with these because you use some of these in Audition. But I'm going to add a fade. I think I want that music to fade out, right, um, since my video is ending. So I'll just drag and drop that fade. Let's play it back. Still kind of awkward, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to make that a little longer. Okay. Sounds a little better. I think I need a fade because on that leaf, so you can still hear those leaves as well. So for purposes of our assignment, um, I'm going to add that to make it just about as long as the video. So you've got that nice kind of natural ending there now. So now, okay, I'm ready to, I think I showed you the very basics of what you'll want to do, at least for now. So you've got the video editing, you've got audio effects and transitions, and video effects and transitions. Again, just the very basics of what we need to do to start. Uh, so. The other thing I want to show you today, and this will be good reference for you to come back to when you're done with your project, and we will be editing these in class. So any special effects, any motion, um, stuff like that, I will help you one-on-one -on -one in class, or you, there are lots of tutorials on the web, and there are some also linked on our Blackboard site for you. But for now, 
Uh, let's talk about exporting your video. So just like in Audition, you want to export it out of Premiere. The first thing you need to do is render everything in your sequence. And that is basically just making sure that the transitions that we put in here are going to work in our video. So to do that, you go to sequence. I want to render the entire video. So I'm going to select that and see where these red lines are. Now they're turning green. That means the effects are rendered. Great. So I'm done. I can, I highly, also highly suggest watching your video back before you export it to make sure it looks exactly how you want. You didn't miss anything. So, okay. I, I watched it back. Let's see here. All right, so it looks how I want it to look. Now I'm going to go to file. I'm going to export my video. Oh, sometimes you have to click, you have to click out of your timeline to do that, so export. Okay, now I can select media. Okay, so there are all kinds of different formats uh, to export in. You can see, depending on what you wanna do. So this is where you need to consider circulation and distribution of your media. Um, there are all kinds of presets in the new version of Premiere, which is wonderful. For the purposes of our class, we're gonna use the H.264 format. And so pay, I want to pay, I would ask you to pay attention to a couple things. Um, the one is the source of your clip. So pay attention to um, this aspect ratio here. Um, this will help make sure that your clip is formatted um, so that you'll get the best picture when you publish it. So for purposes of our class, you can see these are all nicely put in there for you. Um, you're going to want to choose YouTube or Vimeo because that's where you are going to be publishing your video. So I'm going to scroll down to YouTube, and again, I know it's 1080 pixels. I want it in HD, the best quality, so I'm going to select 1080. Okay, um, so your format should be A264, and your preset should be YouTube or Vimeo, however you want to do it. Make sure the pixels match whatever your source was. So the other thing you want to look at is where your file is going to be saved. Um, mine right now is going to the desktop. That's great. If I wanted to change that, I could just click on it and select where I want this clip to be saved. I want it to be saved on the desktop. You can choose the folder, wherever you want to save it. You just want to know where it's going. So now I am ready to export. So all you need to do is click export. And this looks like it's going to take some time, but that's basically it. Um, after that, it'll be on your desktop. You'll be good to go. So that is our tutorial. Again, I know that was quick, um, but we will go over all of this stuff in class, so hopefully it's not too overwhelming.